Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 19th, 2023. Well, my goodness, yesterday we started off with a little bit of a bearish slant, but we immediately reversed. We uh, saw a little bit of bearishness coming in. First thing, the futures were down, and then as soon as the market opened, it was all by all the time yesterday, pushing to the upside. Uh, markets um, chose not to pay attention, I guess, to the weaker, um, weaker than expected um, retail sales numbers and industrial production that showed a decline. They chose to key in on the earnings reports and just zoom to the upside. And then when that enthusiasm was starting to fade, Microsoft came out with uh, several announcements on AI, completely reversed Microsoft and the tech sector on the day zooming to the upside, keeping that enthusiasm going right into the end of the day. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in and buckle up? Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, I got to tell you, um, logic doesn't really seem to matter, uh, or technicals don't seem to matter in the charts right now. It's all enthusiasm. It's all race to buy something. So as we go through here today, please keep in mind that... Um, um, all of this bullishness could quickly reverse from this overextended position in the market. So I'm going to go through here. I'm going to show you some really good looking stocks and things like that. But keep in mind that could um, quickly change if sentiment were to happen to shift. Let's take a look at uh, what we've got going on here. Yesterday, we just literally blew through that area of the chart. And if you go through the full list of stocks in the diamonds, there are not that many that are all that impressive. Um, honestly, a lot of things are coming up out of bottoms, trying to push into downtrends. But um, that being said, it, we got the impression that the market was uh, zooming. So if we continue to zoom, well, let's look right up here. Where's the next level of price resistance in the chart? And I'm going to suggest the next major level is going to be all the way up in here. So we could easily see the Dow, if the enthusiasm can keep moving, moving up here toward that 353 area of the chart. Now, if the bears were to come back into play and really start pushing back, then a retest of this area, this breakout area of support would be likely. And then a pullback into here. Um, reversing um, yesterday would be kind of a painful move, but certainly um, in the cards if there's something that happens to shift that sentiment. Not saying anything will, but something we need to pay attention to. We also need to kind of keep in mind how far we are stretching away from our moving averages. And it's not such a big deal in the diamonds as it is the spy. Oh my goodness, we are stretched away from our technicals. We're just... Um, uh, incredibly bullish and what was surprising to me is that even stocks that were going to report today it was just a race to buy something um, a lot of gambling going on in this market buying up stocks heading into their earnings reports that could prove to be rather painful um, on a day like today um, if they happen to shift sentiment not saying again that that's going to occur but be very, very careful with that fear of missing out chase that seems to be going on here in the market. Now, looking at the SPY, um, as you can see here in this chart, we've got lots and lots of bullishness in here. I would look for uh, the next resistance level to be right up here in the SPY up there around 460 as we continue to extend. If the bears find inspiration, well, the only thing I could look at is maybe a reversal of yesterday's big popping move. And if that were to break, maybe we push down into the lower side of that. And then of course, right back down into here, if the bears really get excited. 
And there's every reason to believe that that could occur at some point in time. So be kind of careful here in the market. Now, if we look at the QQQ, boy, everything was looking a little bit on the bearish side most of the day until Microsoft came out with their announcement of their subscription for their generative AI system. And then, oh my goodness, the, the, the market went nuts. And it really was just a few of the select tech sector stocks um, and there was another announcement between NVIDIA and Qualcomm talking about AI, and that is the key word right now to get everybody to buy. And we rushed um, in uh, to those stocks pushing up a Microsoft hitting new record highs. Now, looking at this chart, if we take a look at our moving averages again, we're very separated from our technicals, very stretched out here in the short term. But that being said, if the bulls can continue to push on through, well, I would su suggest that this resistance right up in here looks like a possibility that could easily be tested up there around 389 as we continue to move in this parabolic um, upside run here in the NASDAQ. Now, keep in mind, if the bears find any kind of inspiration to engage, then maybe a pushback down to test some of these support levels here in the chart kind of catch those um, yesterday highs and uh, 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 excuse me yesterday's lows um, here in the market and then if that were to fail notice there's really no price support underneath that then that would suggest we could come all the way back into here if those bears really were to engage if we take a look at our iwm iwm continuing to surge we broke through this downtrend resistance we had that double whammy here of that little downtrend and price resistance level and remember breaking through is wonderful that's one of those great things now the question is will it prove to hold or will that show some kind of, of a reversal. If the bulls continue to push in here, I want you to notice that the next level higher is significantly up there. That's a pretty big push to the upside, certainly doable on um, with the enthusiasm that we see in the market right now. If the bears find inspiration, well, then I would have to say, come back down and retest that level of support in there. And again, if that were to give way, back down into this area pretty darn parabolic in this move when you look at it uh, right now when we stand back and look at some of these charts you can see the massive enthusiasm the massive parabolic nature of this and um, eventually that will reverse and and unfortunately it'll be those that race in with the fear of missing out that'll be punished the most so be kind of careful plan your risk carefully then let's take a look at our vix our vix barely moved yesterday with all that enthusiasm our vix isn't doing much of anything we're still holding in here um, above this little support area in the chart um, again it's in a complacency zone here in the vix if the bears were to find some enthusiasm look for a retest up in here if the bulls continue to push and stretch to the upside we would expect this area to break and push on lower in the vix if we take a look at our t2122 our t2122 is very extended at one point in time yesterday we were up around 97 here in t2122 we have lingered here for a very long time now what that typically means here is when it breaks when it snaps There'll be a lot of folks running for the door all at the same time. And what I mean by that, institutions, the computer traded systems out there will all start lowering, um, so all start running to take some profits and we can move very quickly to the downside as we have stretched and stretched and stretched. I'm not saying that that's going to occur. I'm saying be careful. Don't overly chase stocks that are already stretched out where your stop loss is a long ways away because that could be a painful reversal if and when it does occur. So watch that carefully. Now, as the T2122 is suggesting here, even if we get a lot of enthusiasm today, you'll note that there's not a whole lot of upside opportunity in here in T2122. 
we saw this the other day where we got some good news and we popped to the upside but the move to the upside was light and choppy volume was not there because I think a lot of folks are recognizing this extension and they're being extra cautious here as we stretch to the upside. So keep that in mind. If the bears find inspiration, well, we certainly have opened up a big opportunity for a downside move if there is something that comes out that provides that bearish inspiration. If we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 moved on up as we would expect yesterday. Not as much as I would have thought with the with the, the massive move in the Dow but if you go through the Dow stocks you'll see what I'm talking about there's not all that many stocks in the Dow that are truly impressive um, we're reaching up here into this very very frothy um, area of the market where we're up in the 70 area 76 up toward 80 is extreme levels um in the market so watch that carefully we're still holding in a bullish pattern so this is the bulls are still in control just watch carefully for that potential reversal that could begin at any time t2107 um, is showing the same situation here where we're extending into that very frothy condition here in the market we may still have some upside opportunity in here on um, that this is a percentage of stocks above the 200 day but just realize that pretty soon all the money is in and then there's no place to go but um, a turn to the downside so watch that carefully fear of missing out can be very dangerous here if you're chasing overextended stocks and then if you take a look at our t2101 t2101 is showing us that hooking pattern yesterday here where that momentum of the market the breadth may shift so be kind of careful here if today gets us something that's a little bit on the disappointed side we could easily shift as we start to sell off profit takers start coming in we could see that move accelerate if that were to occur not saying it will just be prepared for it then let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today now our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot going on on it and you know the thing is um, even even with that um, we um, seem to be kind of ignoring um, the events on the economic calendar it doesn't matter when we're all keyed up on earnings reports so we've got housing uh, starts and permits coming out this morning at 8 30 keep it, um, an eye on that petroleum status will be coming out remember these two reports right here we're not all that bullish and the market just doesn't care um, hurry up and buy something um, is all that it seems to be uh, mattering at this point as we chase stocks higher um, and let's uh, remember as we plan for Thursday we've got some big data coming here on Thursday jobless claims Philly Fed existing home sales um, all of those can be market moving um, kind of watch that carefully and keep in mind next week guys we're moving into an FOMC meeting and um, a likely rate increase let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here for today now guys um, I can't cover everything in the earnings calendar and that's going to be the case as we ramp up these earnings reports so kind of keep that in mind if you want to catch the full list of notables make sure you click the link just below the title of the video and that will um, get you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list now keeping in mind here um, there are some big reports that could move the market after the bell today and that means we need to start expecting gap mornings where we can see gap ups or gap downs in the mornings depending on how those results are interpreted by the market so a couple of those that we want to be paying attention to um, Netflix will be reporting after the bell today here's one of those examples of everyone it's just remarkable how much risk people are willing to take chasing this stock into an earnings report today um, just remarkable in that parabolic move in um, Netflix so hopefully they're right because if they're not this could hurt bad so be really careful here guys 
about following that chase or that fear of missing out move in the market. Um, uh, Netflix and Tesla um, will be the big reports here after the bell that could move the market dramatically and really make an impact for tomorrow morning. Other reports that you want to be paying attention to, we've got some banks here this morning. We've got Goldman Sachs reporting. We're going to hear from um, Ali Financial here today. We've got Alcoa on the list. Um, IBM will be after the bell today, so kind of keep an eye on that one. We're going to hear from UAL. We're going to hear from Zion. So there's a few. Halliburton is in there, and that's been um, running nicely here to the upside. We're also going to hear from Kinder Morgan and Las Vegas Sands here today. So a lot of uh, potential moves happening out there in the market. Again, if you want that full list, click the link below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you can do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful folks it really helps me out a bunch when you um, click um, that thumbs up button and you leave a brief comment and that comment can be as simple as an emoji um, on there it helps the channel to show the engagement in the video and then more people see it and then of course if you share this video on your social media feed that helps an awful lot too it helps us contact new people that we might not see it otherwise and I truly truly appreciate the kind support that everyone provides uh, for this content you guys are awesome let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact i'm going to suggest you need to exercise some pretty heavy due diligence here as the market stretches to the upside be very very careful about chasing too much because it could be very very dangerous here if we um, suddenly get something that um, brings in some bearish sentiment the move could be relatively quick as everyone runs for the door at the same time first off let's take a look sq this is something that i hold i have a bias on this trade um, this thing is parabolic um, at the moment there is no buy signal here at the moment this is a chase or a race to the upside but any consolidation any rest or pullback in here i think sets up an opportunity if we're going to be bullish in the market pay systems like um, block are going to be very very important if the consumers really are this strong that we can just unlimitedly i mean just continue to push those credit card levels higher and higher and it doesn't matter anymore then these systems are going to have to be um, heavily heavily used so watch that carefully any rest or pullback in here could set up the next opportunity maybe to follow that trend to the upside we would also um, want to take a look at some of the commodity sectors out there with the US dollar falling notice that we're popping up a little bit here this morning trying to bounce up here on that chart but if we were to see any kind of situation here where um, the dollar strengthens that could hurt those commodities but if we start falling and if we were to break this support in here look for those commodities to surge now some of those places that you might want to be taking a look at CF made its move you can see I had the price alert here on CF that moved up really sharply here after that price alert breaking from uh, making that trend in uh, engage now as you'll notice here in this chart we're pushing up toward these next levels of price resistance here in the chart so what I would expect is a little bit of consolidation a little bit of risk or pullback in this chart and I would look for the next opportunity in that trade take a look at um, mosaic a mosaic is a position that I actually picked up yesterday so I have a bias on this looked really good as it popped through there's that trend coming into play again US dollar strengthening might hurt this US dollar weakening could help it substantially so watch this carefully this may have that opportunity to, to extend it may rest back into this trend and then continue watch that closely for that next opportunity into the trade take a look at stocks like lyft 
lift trying to make that move yesterday trying to pop through and get going i think there's a chance that this may still have to rest back toward this trend but it is possible with the enthusiasm of the market that we go ahead and go from here and extend that is a bit steep and usually steep um, rallies like that cannot be sustained very long but watch that closely there may be a trade um, in that take a look at stocks like Kohl's. Kohl's looking very, very good, setting up in that price pattern. This was an original alert, this pink line right here. You can see we popped nicely and pulled back yesterday, but watching this area in here, watching this trend, look for that next extension to the upside if we can maintain the bullishness here in the market. Um, speaking of commodities, boy, you got to take a look at that oil sector. We had some big moves in oil yesterday. Um, big reversal there. Uh, Morningstar pattern showing up in um, APA. Now, this is away from the trend. So sometimes we can get a big pop like that and then we just kind of drift out here toward the trend. But I would watch that closely for that next opportunity to the upside. If we are going to be a bullish market, we're definitely going to need way more oil and gas uh, flowing into the system than we see right now. And um, right now we've got OPEC keeping those production levels cut pretty strongly. So that pushes oil and gas prices higher. And remember, when oil and gas prices go higher, so does inflation. So kind of keep that one in mind. But APA looking good. Um, OXY looking uh, good in the same same type of pattern any kind of consolidation or rest out here seems like it could set up a pretty interesting uh, potential setup here on a lot of these oil sector stocks so watch them closely and carefully looking pretty darn good take a look at some of the commodity prices in um, steel now i ended up selling my position in u.s steel yesterday because i had kind of a shorter term option it was just such a beautiful profit i wanted to take it but let's keep an eye on this little rest or pullback in here could set up and there may be impetus for that um, um, we've got steel dynamics um, reporting earnings today so kind of keep an eye on that we have a nice little pattern here in steel dynamics as well if that can hold in there and push on through I would be looking for an opportunity uh, potentially to crop up in there um, lots of stocks are very very bullish here in the chart FedEx extending out certainly our shippers are going to be very very important to us if the consumers really are this strong then we're going to need those shippers to be shipping all of those products to us. And then there was news today on Carvana. I had this alerted up here, watching for that. This thing got some news where they did some kind of restructure and lowering their overall debt uh, by quite a bit. Um, and that's pushing the stock substantially higher here this morning. So keep an eye on that. I wouldn't want to chase a move like that, but any rest or pullback would give me... Um, um, a relatively good entry into that trade so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here i do truly appreciate it and i'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning wish you all the best